Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss Lachey here. We are doing our maybe third collab with Elva Hair, you guys. I am so excited to work with Elva Hair. They have great quality hair. So anytime that they send me something, I am ready to go, okay? So this time they sent me something new. They sent me a blonde wig. I think this wig is about 22 inches. I'm not sure. I'm deaf. You guys know I'm going to put it down for you guys. But um, it's a, a lace wig, and I think it has about six inch parting space so it's really yeah six inch parting space it's really 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 deep and y'all i've never started this blonde before like i haven't had um a wig that was this light and then me trying to color it from this like no i've never done this before so this is exciting i'm super excited <laughs> super excited so i'm going to be using these three colors here um you guys will definitely see the process as much as i can show you i took you down to my kitchen so this is just some hot water that i was boiling for just a second and actually this is actually what i think went wrong with the process like just be because i couldn't see through the bowl i couldn't tell if everything was um mix well and i don't think it was because the way that it the color had um grabbed onto the hair it was a little patchy um so i don't recommend using like a bowl that you can't see through because like honestly i was like what the hell like <laughs> what happened and why is it not distributed right so you'll see later it'll look good in the pic in the video but honestly like up close like i would never do someone's hair like this so <laughs> i'm just letting you guys know like just make sure that you probably have like a see-through um bowl or something so that you can make sure that all the product and all the solution is stirred up evenly but I, as I was doing it, you guys, I really felt like I was going through the motions right. Like, I made sure that every piece was covered. Like, everything that I see in other people's videos, I dipped it in. I wasn't scared about the lace getting colored. Like, I did all of that. And you'll see later that it just, I don't know. Like, you see at the ends, it's a little bit lighter. Um, and that's just by me dipping in. So let me know in the comments, you guys, if you guys ever did watercolor and does it come out as evenly um, as it looks sometimes or if close up, it's a, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit patchy. So let me know. <laughs> Maybe I did something wrong. So here I'm just adding the rest of just like some leftover color. I want to mix that all up and I'm going to put that, um, put some conditioner into it and mix it. And the reason why I'm doing this is because my roots are very, very light. So I was like, I don't want to have hot roots. I don't want it to look, you know, super lighter than the ends. So I just used my leftover color with a little bit of conditioner and I just added it to my roots. And that helped because I don't want my roots to be super light because you can tell that the color is just so off like that. So um, that's just a, I still recommend that. Like if you guys have um, some lighter roots, just go ahead and not use the watercolor method for that part, but just actually paint it on with a little bit of conditioner. Oh, this is the part that I don't understand. Okay, so looking at the color, it looks good, right? Like a lot of times you look at a lot of these YouTube pages and they do their watercolors, like it looks good. But then you go to dry it and then close up, like look close up. That's not okay with me. I do not like the patchiness. I don't, I don't, ah. I did not like it. And then I didn't like how bright the color was. This is not what I was going for. So I'm just showing you guys how it looked before I took it off. So I added this clip in there, but I don't really know how to do that. But the color I added to it was called Spiced Amber. So off camera, I added that to the hair. As you can see, it's a little bit darker in tone. So um, I did the same process. I used that silver bowl again with some hot water. And I um, put that whole bottle of Spiced Amber in there and dipped it in and then let it dry. And then the color came out so much better, so much more warmer. And I think that's the color that I was looking for. But it still came out patchy, but it's not as patchy as it was before. Um, I think with the watercolor, um, I do see a lot of people, like, when they do it, the color, just, some of the color just grabs on just any way that it wants to. And I don't know if I'm really used, like, okay with that yet. <laughs> I don't know.
I know it's a really quick method and it's really good for people who's not really good at coloring, but at the same time, it does look rushed. Um, but overall, I do like the way the color looks. Do I like the way it deposited? No, but I do like the way the color is. So now I'm just gonna throw some wand curls in there just so I can get a little bit of bounce. Um, the hair still is really, really good. The only thing that I realized with blonde hair is that it has less integrity um, because the hair color is stripped from it. So blonde always comes off to be a little bit more dry, but it's okay because conditioner would absolutely help and that's what I did after I finished um, um, coloring my hair I just put some conditioner in there and I left it in there for a few minutes so that I can get some um, moisture back into the hair so these are the curls afterwards and it looks good y'all like I actually was impressed with it now let me tell you let me tell you what I'm um, what I don't like so I don't like that the color looks good when it's curled but the color does not look good when it's straight when it's straight you can see all the demarcations you can see all you can see everywhere the hair the color just went like just all over the place but when it's curled it seemed like it blended in a lot better so watercolor i don't know i, I got a love hate relationship with watercolor <laughs> and another thing <laughs> and another thing y'all i'm so sorry i'm just complaining today well i'm not really complaining i'm just trying to let you guys know like really how i feel okay so i hate when the baby hairs are so bright and then you try to create baby hairs like i don't like that look because i don't know like i prefer to have really dark roots um to match my skin tone like you get what i'm saying like i i don't really care for colored baby hairs I don't I prefer darker roots so that's something that I will probably look into next time um, it's probably like coloring the hair and then go back and make sure that I get my um, roots like a natural brown color so I just want to show you guys this color this is how it looked downstairs um, just in a natural sunlight so it's very bright vibrant it gives me like two different colors you'll see But yeah, so this is the color that I got. I'm gonna show you guys the back. And as you can see, like it's really, really light in the back. This is the color it was before I added the spice amber. And like I said, I dipped the whole thing in and it only grabbed certain parts. So that's the only thing about watercolor. Like I still have to figure it out, but just so you guys know are interested in the colors that I use, I use four colors all together. This being my last color that I used all over but other than that the style of this hair and the color of it if it did come out correctly um it, it looks really really good and look at the ends like i it's, i didn't do it no different like i didn't put color in certain places i dipped the hair in and this is just how the color spread it like the tips are more orange like it's crazy and then you just have a mixture of color which i like it i don't like my hair usually one color but this is it's weird it's weird how watercolor works but i think it looks really really good despite the little mishaps but um okay fall so thank you guys so much for tuning to this video so yes go ahead you guys like comment and subscribe don't forget to subscribe okay because my number count it ain't moving but i do see new people on my channel so go ahead and subscribe you guys help your girl out get me in good places so that i can afford to keep doing these videos for you guys and i will see you guys in another video. Bye.